Video number two, this is now Nightline I am talking about. For this activity, the same first initial step should be taken, okay? So you're checking your ABCs, which is your airways, breathing and circulation, like I previously said. And the same for any superficial injuries that could be treated. Okay. Claustrophobia, again, may need to be taken into account because of the blindfolds, but this can easily be overcome by removing them. You could, instead of leaving them, you could lead the injured party to the nearest safe exit if they are able to move. If not, you go alone and ensure he or she has someone to accompany them. This will make sure they are reassured at all times and they do not feel alone. A mobile phone could be very useful as it you are above the ground and potentially you're not too far from help. Your location could be told if you're prepared to somebody before you even head out to do the activity. This way, if you don't get back in touch within a set time, if you tell the person that you're going to be two hours and you might take three or four, that's when they might come looking for you so they already know that there could be something wrong. Finally, Nightline, it's in the name, it is going to be quite dark, that is the best time to do it. So flares could be used as a last precaution. Uh, if it's close enough to civilization, the bright light should attract the attention. They are most of the time set around local areas as they are man-made 